I'm actually going to be moving. Take your own advice, Connor. At six minute pace. Oh. <laughs> so there are running shoes. But my heart rate was quite high. I'm just running with people. There's joy. Good morning. Welcome back to another video. We're trying it again. I'm going back to the run track that I did last week for my long run and failed. Had just an anxious time. It's a bit chilly this morning. I think I will be a lot better today because I know where I'm going, kind of. And I also had on a really, really tight sports bra. Oh, the sun is right on that side. The sports bra that I was wearing was like really, really tight around my chest and it was a little bit uncomfortable. So maybe I had like restricted breathing. <laughs> hopefully a lot calmer today and hopefully not as busy, which I know I do need to practice running with people because the half marathon is going to be a lot of people. I could go that way, couldn't I? But today we have a seven kilometer tempo run. Okay, first impressions, there seems to be quite a few people running. Oh, there's a lot of people running. It's okay. Oh no, I've forgotten my running belt. Oh, Connor. I have to go back and get it. Far out, damn it. Oh, I literally, it's because I've got my heart rate monitor like around my tummy right now. Like I haven't put it up, so it feels like I've got it on. Ugh, BRB. Good news, that was so much better than last time. So much better, oh my God. Definitely a bit hard. I think I set off way too quickly at the start. It was two and a half K warm up, one and a half kilometer repeats. Um, well, there were two repeats at six minute pace, which is not terrible and like very doable, but I definitely set off way too quickly and there wasn't a rest between the warm up run and the first rep but my second rep was much more comfortable because I had that rest in between. Even though I'm like quicker now, I definitely need to still like do my comfortable pace, like warm up jog slowly because it makes such a difference. I'm in the shower now. I do want to quickly thank our sponsor of this weekly vlog, which is Casetify. I've worked with these guys a few times on my channel before and they are the only phone case that I use on my phone. And thank God they are the only phone cases that I use because I probably drop my phone at least four times a day, especially with my long nails, holding my phone, not my strong point. And Casetify cases not only look incredible and there are so many different options to choose from, but they really do protect your phone. Even with the amount of times that I drop it, my phone has remained intact. So I have four new cases to show you guys today and they are all so cute. The one that I have on my phone at the moment looks like this and this reminds me of a rainbow paddle pop. Is that not so cute? All of these cases are ultra impact, so they are super, super protective, but they're not super bulky. These have also been drop tested, so you can literally drop them if <laughs> literally drop them and they are completely fine that is incredible it's funny every time i drop my phone people around me are always like oh my god like i hope it's not broken and i'm like it's, it's fine I've got my case to fire case you know what would be a really good gift for someone a phone case like this because half the time it's something that you wouldn't really spend the money on for yourself but as a gift this could be really really cute and you can customize them you can put your name on them you can put your friend's name on them photos of your dog this clear case has also been made to prevent yellowing because you know how when you get a clear case it can kind of go a bit yellow after a while this has been made to prevent that which is so cool and when i say there are hundreds of options on case defy i mean it there are so many different combinations if you can imagine it in a phone case they probably have it the ultra impact cases have up to three and a half meters of drop protection the reason these are so protective is because they're made with these like slim bumpers if you can see them on the sides and they're made from 65 percent recycled and plant-based materials which is really Cool. If you guys use my code on the screen, you can save 15% off Casetify. I will have all of my cases linked down below. I don't know which one's my favorite between these two. I love. I will never not use Casetify because they are the best. And they're always coming out with new releases and more protective cases. Thank you so much again to Casetify for sponsoring this weekly vlog. with you i am not feeling tip top today i've done a bit of work this morning i went and did a 5k run um and filmed a tiktok at the same time because i'm actually working with new balance which is so cool like on a running thing like that is so cool to me i am nine days out for my period which can sometimes be about this time that i feel a bit sluggish 
luteal definitely in the luteal phase after tomorrow i'm only gonna have two more weeks of training because then after that is essentially like the week of the race oh my god true <laughs> okay i just had a shower washed my hair and i feel a lot better i've been chilling out for probably like an hour and a half and honestly i've said it before but having a shower and washing your hair or like the everything shower just makes you feel so much better so i've decided i'm gonna blow down my hair make me feel a little bit better and also i need to get organized because i'm actually going away to the gold coast this weekend for a little staycation with my boyfriend and next week i'm actually going to be moving and i say moving because i'm not moving but i'm gonna be staying in brisbane for about a month I mentioned this in the movie vlog like ages ago how I wanted to kind of like maybe like stay in an Airbnb in the city and just like experience what that might be like to live because I'm definitely thinking I'm going to be moving out of my like hometown probably within the next year I would say so this is kind of a nice way to kind of see what it would be like living closer to the city and just to kind of like yeah have like a working holiday not really a holiday living in a different space for a month and I'm so grateful that I'm able to do it because of my job but I'm very very excited because I think I am a person that likes change I feel like most people don't but I do love routine but I do like change but then I do get very overwhelmed at change sometimes <laughs> but I'm very excited so I'll be able to kind of bring you almost like a moving vlog or you know whatever it may be because I need to bring like everything because a month is a long time and obviously I can come back in in that time and I will actually be coming back but I need to pack like pretty much everything that I use um, on a day-to-day -day basis. So that is super exciting. I kind of need to start getting organized because I have a lot of work things to do. I need to kind of corral everything that I own and use and like get it ready. But yeah, that's a big update. I haven't really mentioned it on my channel yet. So stay tuned for that. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I actually haven't taken my um, antibiotics today, have I? No. Alrighty. I also tried these New Balance runners for the first time. These are called the New Balance, wait, actually, let me look at the name of it. New Balance FF180 V13 style. So they're a running shoe. Look how like, wow, this background's, I'm like white on white on white right now. I really liked them. Look how like curved the toe is. They're not as cushiony as like my other running shoes, but I really like them. I love the color. That is very exciting. I don't know if I'm gonna go for a run tomorrow morning. We shall see. Um, I might even like scrap it and just do my long run. But I think my body is telling me that I need a little bit of this. Okay, good morning. I wanted to chat through my little routine before this long run. I usually set out everything the night before, but I didn't on this day. Bit of a mistake there, but I always have my coffee and today is my pre-run snack. I went with a banana and a rice cake. I definitely took a little bit longer to get ready this morning, that's for sure. I definitely like to take my time. I think it might have actually worked out in my favour, as you'll see later on. Just rocking the slick hair with 3,000 layers of hairspray. I actually haven't been wearing a hat as much lately but I always make sure to put a little bit of sunscreen on my like parting because that always gets sunburned if I don't so always do that if you've got a part and then just picking out my running fit popping on my heart rate monitor and my Garmin brushing my teeth putting my shoes on this is exciting stuff I think these will be the shoes that I wear on my race day because I've been using them a lot for my long runs and then popping in my electrolytes into my water these bottles are actually a little bit bigger than my other ones and I think I prefer the smaller ones just because they're not as heavy like I actually feel like the vest today when it was all filled and stuff it was quite heavy and I have my two gels as well and the sunrise was really pretty this morning it is about 6am I think. You can hear the birds. We have 18 kilometers today. I've done my best to get out all my business. It sounds so weird. 
I always end up having to do a poo around the 40 minute mark or like six and a half k's. I, f I don't feel like I need to at the moment, so we'll see what happens. If I do it again, I feel like I'll have to seriously look at something to try and like make me constipated or something for the day, which just sounds so <laughs> weird and I don't know if that's a thing or just like really avoid fiber or like not have coffee, but I really need the coffee for the, for the energy. 18 kilometers today. I'm feeling okay um, and I didn't end up doing the Friday session so theoretically I should have very fresh legs. Um, it is very cold this morning so gonna do some warm-up drills, hopefully get a bit warm and we will set off. And then doing some warm-up drills, just doing some leg swings, getting everything nice and warm especially since it's pretty cold. I definitely don't have a set routine, I should. Um, but I just kind of do whatever gets me warm. The sky is so pretty. This is the best part about getting up at this time. Okay, the electrolytes are really salty. They're really nice though, because my other one that I got from like the supermarket just, just tastes like salt. And I'm pretty sure I made the maple syrup drink wrong. Oh. Hi! Oh, I wish I could show you, but I don't want to show you where I live. Joeys or like wallabies are like essentially really small kangaroos. <laughs> That's cool. Alright, um, let me just decide which way I want to go. Yeah, let's go this way. Alright, let's go. hard good news i didn't do a poo my neighbor is like right at the front and he definitely heard me say good news i need to do it i did need to stop and do a wee so <sighs> not as bad but i did like have to stop a few times to have my gels because i can't like always breathe through my nose so i had to so it's like impossible to <laughs> eat the gel without really spiking my heart rate <sighs> um so yeah i'll have to look at like the elapsed time because i think my watch is like 149 so all right so the next day i'm in a different location but you will find out about that later in the vlog i wanted to chat about the run oh my god i sound so nasally i'm so sorry i've done three 18 kilometer runs and they, in in a way, have gotten progressively worse. I think because I keep thinking about that first 18 kilometer run that I did that felt out of this world and my pace was so quick for me that I keep comparing all my other runs, like literally every other run to that run, which is silly because your progress is not linear. So I need to like stop comparing myself and almost like forget about that run and just like run how I feel. But, and I also haven't been following the pacing that runner has given me when I had done this run. I think again, it's because I keep comparing it to the first long run where I just like blew the pacing out of the water and just like did it really fast. My average heart rate in this run was 167 which is pretty darn high and I also need to remember that I am like kind of sick which would definitely be impacting it and it's so annoying because I feel like I almost need to completely stop running altogether. The starting out the first 5k felt okay like I progressively got faster and faster and first kilometer was like seven minutes and then it was like six minutes 634, 619, 606, 602. Kind of okay. I was maintaining a 5 50-ish pace kind of it would it slipped to like a 602 but it was kind of like yeah around the six the 545 550-ish pace but my heart rate was quite high like it was like 172 169 like 170 which is high but I was holding on to it but I think just running at that pace with my heart rate that high for that long really just like didn't help and then I really felt like the fatigue in the last 5k I was pretty sore so I definitely got a lot slower to in the last like two kilometers especially like I kind of just used it as a cool down in my head I was like oh maybe we could do 20 today yeah not the best I did it in one hour 49 like actually though the elapsed time was only one hour 52 I was like okay I'm happy with that 
considering I did stop to go to the toilet and do a wee and I had to stop a couple times to have my gels because yeah I can't breathe through my nose especially when you run like you kind of get a runny nose anyway like especially since it's cold I can't have a gel and like breathe through my oh just a tricky time so yeah my average pace was 603 a bit slower than my first two times but it's okay I know I didn't have the best night's sleep in terms of how many hours I got and I also know that I haven't been prioritizing strength training either which is like take your own advice Connor like the strength training is so important in order to like your legs to be able to get you that far those are my thoughts I'm like ugh. I just wish I could feel better. It is harder to run when I have like a, a blocked nose and a bit of a dry cough. So, mm, we are so close. Good evening. Happy, what's today? Sunday. My boyfriend and I are currently on the Gold Coast. We have been kindly gifted a little stay at the QT from Petal and Pop, which is so lovely. I didn't realize this until like right before we checked in, but we're actually staying in like, I think they're called like the QT cabins or something, but it's so cute and cozy. There's only like six cabins up here. So it's very like private. There's an outdoor fire and everything. Um, but we're about to go to dinner in the hotel. I was gonna wear like a really cute dress but I'm actually really cold and I need to iron it and there's no iron in here so I'm just wearing like a little crew neck not a crew neck a quarter zip and then just some jeans so we had like a little platter and some like drinks on arrival um which was really really nice so yeah we're gonna go have some dinner I kind of love that it's at the hotel because we don't have to go anywhere oh <laughs> Well, look how cute the bed is and the linen is I love linen and it's so comfy and this is the little outdoorsy section this is the remnants of that situation I haven't had a drink since my birthday so it kind of just went straight to my head you ready Freddy oh you look nice ah yes so do you yeah. from the Gold Coast. It is 10 past eight and I've just been doing some editing this morning. Um, my boyfriend's just gone to like the little hotel gym. You can probably see a little bit of a better view of the cabin. I love how they've like put the lighting like behind things. I think it's just really, really cute. It's really giving like a little getaway, but like we're in like a hotel. So yeah, also excuse the camera settings throughout this video. I've been messing around with them and sometimes it's really, really good and sometimes it's really bad. But on the agenda today, we're gonna go to breakfast and then we're gonna go to Soak Bathhouse, um, which I've heard everyone talk about and I see it on Instagram heap, which will be really nice for like to chill out. And I feel like it's exactly what I need in terms of like kind of like recovery. And then we have dinner at the Marriott, like the ho like a restaurant in the Marriott. Dinner was okay. It was a little bit hit and miss. Did the job. I'm very keen for a little buffet breakfast though. Yeah, I kind of love that we can just like chill out. I can do some work. This jumper also, of course, is Petal and Pop. It's so cozy. I got it in like a huge size. 